Hi, this is Razorwire, and this is a Twin Flame reading. I've already dealt the cards um, to save on time, but let me know in the comments if you prefer to watch um, me shuffle the cards. So we're going to start with the masculine uh, today. And the first card we have is the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands is about determination and grit. It's about um, that last push, you know, before you progress forward. It's, you know, investing yourself in a project and being um, willing to put in, in the work. It can also represent um, a pause, you know, a, a moment to catch your breath or um, to call on support if you're finding yourself completely overwhelmed. Then we have the Two of Wands, and the Two of Wands is about, um, it's a crossroads, it's about making a decision to um, step outside of your comfort zone and try something new, you know? Then we have the Death card, and the Death card is about rebirth and resurrection and um you know, the death of one way of life to bring in something new. So it looks like, you know, your masculine is fighting really hard right now to bring in, um, to bring about some changes in their life. They are um, struggling to release some of their old patterns and, you know, the lifestyle, lifestyle choices which have become very familiar addictions and things that are familiar and feel safe and they are um you know struggling to move forward with that but they are doing so and here we have the call and uh the call is uh, the judgment card and so this is about resurrection also it's about forgiveness it's about your higher calling your higher purpose they are being Pulled towards you, divine feminine. They are being pulled towards a more uh, spiritual life, and it's not been easy to make that transition. But they are unable to um, deny any longer that they have that they have to make these changes. And then we have the Four of Air, and this is a card of healing and recuperation and and rest. As I said with the Nine of Wands, sometimes when you've been really hard at work making changes, you occasionally need like a pause to catch your breath, um, to go inward and, and see what your next moves should be. And then we have the Three of Earth. And the Three of Earth is about teamwork and collaboration and synergy. And so they may be um, calling um, on outside sources um, or maybe even on source for help to get through this difficult time they may be even calling on you to find feminine for a little extra support if they're trying to make substantial changes in their life and then we've got the queen of water and she represents compassion um, sensitivity intuition um, sincerity so this is a reminder of feminine to be gentle and compassionate with your with your twin um, you can see from this card that there's a lot of healing going on a lot of change going on a lot of um, you know investment that your that your masculine has put into the journey and they are struggling a bit right now um, with that and they could really use your support so make sure you send your masculine some some love today and we have um, across the waters so I'm going to read this to you it's from the journey of love oracle you are being called across the waters as if crossing a bridge of light from one ocean to a far greater one. These waters are your emotional waters. You see the emotion with the queen of water, so they're getting in touch with their emotions. Holding your feelings, your attitudes, your expectations, and your fears and doubts, as well as your hopes and dreams. It can seem like 
such a lot to navigate. Sometimes our waters feel overcrowded, as if swarms of people are descending into the ocean on a sweltering hot day, hardly finding a space in the water to pour ourselves. We can feel as though there is just no room for faith, trust, peace, and love. There is just too much happening in that water. We yearn for the cool, calm mountain like um, mountain lake, serene, giving, echoing a gentle dispensation, dispensation of grace. You are being called across the waters, out from an overcrowded sea into a cool, into the cool spaciousness of the endless lake. So it's time to let go of some mental clutter, which is what they're doing, some attitudes, some thoughts. Ask for help. And bathe yourself in the green and gold rays of healing color. Just imagine them cascading down around you and through you like a waterfall. It's a bit like you're moving to a new neighborhood in a cleaner and more spacious town. It might be a bit unfamiliar at first, but soon enough you'll enjoy the difference. This oracle brings you a message. It is your time to think about something in a different light. Soon you will have a shift in perspective and feeling of overwhelm, stress, and just too much going on will be replaced with serene trust and peacefulness. Know that beneath even the most chaotic mind is the place of deep, quiet serenity within. Do whatever helps you, dive deep to find it. Dance, take some rest, meditate, do yoga, write, paint, make love, make music, and the quiet serenity within you You'll be leaving unnecessary chaos behind, and you'll be presented with the gift of a new way forward. And we saw that um, the, the Nine of Wands, which represents, you know, and the Death card, that your masculine is feeling really overwhelmed and pushed to their, you know, the breaking points. And then we saw the Four of Air that they need some time to go within to heal and to recuperate and to find space and peace within. So make sure you are giving that, them that space so they can grow and heal. And for the uh, message we have today, So I wait for you like a lonely house till you see me again and live in me. Till then my windows ache. Pablo Neruda. So your masculine is missing you. They are missing this connection. They are misery, missing your um, nurturing energy, your your love, you know, when they're going through hard times like um, they are right now, they could really use, you know, some compassion and some support. So if you're, you know, make sure you're sending that to your masculine, even if you are not um, connected in the 3D yet, you know, make sure you are sending them um, positive um, feelings. So for the feminine, we have the Two of Cups, and this is the divine connection. You know, this is the, the, the Twin Flames card in my mind. This is, um, speaks of telepathy. You, know, in the, you might be able to, in the 5D, meet up with your twin and have a little fun together, you know, relax together, unwind together, get to know each other a little bit. Um, you know, this is about the partnership, about you working, working to cre uh, together to create a beautiful future. This is about um, give and take and sharing and the you know the balance between the two of you, the harmony. And then we have the world, and the world you know represents um, completion, success. It can represent travel. Um, and, and cycles, you know, honoring your, your cycles. And then we've got the Three of Wands here. And this is a card of progress, you know, of also travel, of moving forward, of um, being, you know, ready to sort of shine your life and express yourself authentically. And then we've got the Magician. And uh, the magician is all about magic and manifestation and using the resources you have and, and the gifts you have and harnessing all that together to create for yourself the kind of the future that you, that you desire. And it's also trusting, you know, in spirit to help you manifest. 
um, that feature. And then you've got the King of Water. And the King of Water is about also about compassion and diplomacy. You know, he is um, also um, intuitive, one of the more intuitive kings. The Queen of Water is a highly intuitive individual. Um, the King of Water is a good listener. He is a loving father. This could represent a man um, that is coming into your life who is mature and who has something substantial to offer to you. So this could be, you know, your masculine coming forward with it with an offer, which it seems like he might be working on right now. And then we've got the two of water again. So this is again with the um, twin twin connection. Again, the union and the partnership and the coming together and the being in harmony. And then we again have the three of fire, which represents progress. So while it might seem that your masculine is kind of stuck at the moment. The truth is that they're not stuck. They have made a lot of progress. They are working really hard. Um, things are moving forward with the journey. You know, you are on the right path. You are on the path to union. And then we have the seven of water. In the good tarot, um, it focuses more on the positive aspects uh, of the cards. So this is more about imagination. This is about the manifestation. This is about dreaming big um, and allowing yourself to, to dream big, you know, and to not settle for, uh, for something less, you know, not settle for um, a lesser uh, version of your dreams. All right. And for the journey of Oracle, we have coming together. So we have several cards that's coming together, so it seems like things are starting to move forward. <clears throat> you and another soul are coming together into each other's worlds. It is a karmic destiny that is unfolding, an expression of a divine plan set in motion many lifetimes ago. That destiny may have a romantic purpose. It may have a sacredness that is sexual. It may have a sacredness that is creative, tender, about learning self-esteem or courage. It may bring a gift of enduring friendship and loyalty, or be an expression of a passing flash of divine force that shakes your foundations and helps move you out of a situation which would have consumed your light with tediousness and playing small. The coming together is happening, however. No, it is of love. This oracle brings guidance. You are going to be moved by love. Whether it is long-term or fast and furious, it is love and it has meaning. Let it be what it is and do not try to force it to become what you think it must be. It has worth as do you. Enjoy the experience and know it serves your growth. Powerful. And for the quotes, we have... I exist in two places, here and where you are, Margaret Atwood. And isn't this the truth, that you exist, you know, as an individual, but you also exist within your twin as one. You know, so you are already in union. You are, you know, inseparable, in fact. Their separation itself is an illusion. All right, so for the journey, let's get through the there we go. And for the journey, we have the Six of Wands. And this is a card about success and celebration and, you know, recognition. And then we have, you know, the Lust card, um, which represents, you know, passion and strength and animal instincts and, you know, harnessing uh, your, um, your energies, your primal energies. And then you have the sun um, for abundance and um, satisfaction and, you know, wishes fulfilled and, you know, positive outcomes and happiness and joy. And then you have the Eight of Pentacles, and this is a card of mastery. 
Um, this is a card of, you know, growth and and learning and hard work paying off. And then you have the nine of water, and this is, you know, also about wishes fulfilled and dreams coming true and togetherness and satisfaction in love and satisfaction in life. And then we have the Ace of Air, and in this card, it's about signs and synchronicities. So this card is to remind you to pay attention to the signs and synchronicities that you're seeing right now because they're extremely, extremely important. Um, usually when we see the Ace of Air, which is the Ace of Swords, it's about awakening, um, awareness, um, you know, kind of an enlightenment energy, communication. Um, so things are going to be made clear to you soon. Then we have the Two of Fire, and we spoke about this um, with the masculine. It's about being at a crossroad. It's about choosing to move forward, to step outside of your comfort zone, you know, to explore this um, spiritual path. It, it's a commitment to get getting to know the self. And then we have the Messenger of Air. Um, and the Messenger of Air in most of the decks is is about impulsivity and action and heroism and you know machismo and all of that but in this it is more about um the knight who blindly follows orders you know they follow orders without question um you know it's the soldier that is conditioned for war um, they don't always think um about the highest good and they sort of live in the moment in a survival-based mentality. Um, so this is sort of about letting go of those old paradigms, those old ways of doing things that aren't working for you anymore, of those beliefs that are keeping you stuck or entrenched in old patterns. And then we have the five of water, and this is about forgiveness in this one. It's about releasing grief. It's about allowing your emotions to express themselves. So a lot of times when we get upset, um, our natural reaction is to either just to try to distract ourselves from the unpleasant feeling, to push the un, to repress the unpleasant, or to repress the unpleasant feeling. But this is to card is to say you need to set with those feelings, whatever they are, and allow them to just move through you. So this is kind of a call for meditation, I think, because in meditation you observe without judgment. Um, you don't um, engage in the tendency to overthink. You don't try to, to figure it out. You don't feed into the storyline. You're just present, fully present with yourself. And then we have the Seven of Fire. And the Seven of Fire is about standing up for yourself and what you believe in. It's about, you know, authenticity. It's about having the courage to, you know, go your own way. And then we have the Six of Air or the Six of Swords. And this is about transitioning into something better. It's a sign of movement forward. It can be a sign of actual travel. Um, you can't see who's in the boat, but a lot of times uh, they will depict it as two people in the boat. Um, you know, so they can depict that you may be receiving help in this transition um, from from friends, loved ones, from source to help ease you into this transition. And because it, it can be hard, it can be really hard to break those those old patterns and ways of thinking. And sometimes on this journey, we can feel alone and like no one you know understands what we're going through um, but this is to remind you that you can call on source for help and source will help ease your transition and then we have the pearl threaded and i think we actually had this one yesterday as well about how we are all connected um though we all labor through the alert illusion of individuality and have to face our inner challenges in solitude, our spiritual transformation is not an independent event, nor is it for our victory alone. 
as we approach the enlightened way of all-embracing love each human being is a pearl on the divine mother's garland gradually assuming luster and revealing beauty worth and radiance over many lifetimes together we are creating a per perfect <laughs> tongue a precious offering in return for her gift of life we can learn to draw on the collective effort to allow our own journey to become integrated into the journey of the group without being weighed down and instead to be lifted up to do this we honor the thread that connects each of us as one divine being just like the various fingers that belong to the one hand then we honor the pearl essence of our divine nature that we are capable of growth and transformation becoming divine beauty this oracle brings you a message you are to shift your perspective to allow all groups that you are involved in to become a source of energetic lifting rather than depletion. If a group you are involved in cannot do this for you, then you may not be in vibrational resonance and it may be time to seek a group that is more energetically supportive of your vibration. Trust your feelings and don't be scared to open up and allow yourself to connect with others. That way you can truly know if a group or gathering is right for you, or if you need to move on. But do trust that you are not alone on your journey, and the soul connections that will nourish you, you will draw, will draw you to them, like strands of pearls on the Divine Mother's necklace. So we are all connected. You are never alone. You can always call on Source. And for the quote, we have, to make living itself an art, that is the goal. Henry Miller. So make your life beautiful. Create a life that you are excited to live. Thank you for listening. This has been a Twin Flame reading. Please like and comment.